The biggest issue for the theory of evolution is that the chances of the world existing as it is, according to the theory, is statistically unlikely. That is why many scientists prefer the theory of intelligent design. So many things would have had to fall into place by one in billions of chances for evolution to be true. A simple rule of nature is that it repeats itself. So where are the other worlds? Okay. They say that the chances are so slim that the other worlds are probably hundreds of light years away. It's not that they don't exist. We just haven't found them yet. Granted, for a moment. But what are the chances of the Big Bang happening? One in how many billion? Well, as far as we know, it only happened once. This one-time event created everything we see, including the stars, which are hundreds of light years away. What I wonder is, why doesn't this bother scientists? Every act of nature happened more than once. The sun, for example. Many stars are as powerful as the sun, and some are more powerful. Even the functions which caused evolution were seen numerous times in other places. It was just that many functions came together all in one place, which caused Earth to be as we know it, according to the theory of evolution. Now, if the Big Bang was just another act of nature, why wasn't there another Big Bang? Well, some claim, without any evidence as far as they understand, that the Big Bang did occur more than once. They say that all matter expanded and contracted numerous times. But it all happened from the same infinitely small spot. Nothing in nature happens only in one spot. Shouldn't that alone determine that the Big Bang was not a natural event?